All right, let's talk about it. So earlier this week, I was on a radio show in Jacksonville talking about Florida football. What are the realistic expectations for Billy Napier's squad going into year three? Will they hit the win total of four and a half by Vegas? Will Billy Napier be can if he loses X game? And the conversation eventually led on over to Graham Mertz. What were my thoughts about his first season? Do I think he will improve? What are realistic expectations for the former Wisconsin transfer? And, and I compared him to... America's favorite side dish that it seems like everyone enjoys, but they never would just scarf down as an entire meal. And since that, uh, the clip has gone viral. Everyone is talking about it. And I've gotten a lot of comments saying, Cole, what exactly did you mean by Graham Mertz is mashed potatoes? Obviously, that's what this video is. So welcome on into SEC Unfiltered. It's Cole Thompson here. Make sure that you like the video. Hit the ring notification so you don't miss a single episode because we're talking college sports and I guess food products every single day leading up to week one. Download the podcast version of the show wherever you get your podcast listening systems. Leave a five-star review if you like this type of content. Leave a one-star review if you hate this type of content. We're talking mashed potatoes and college football. You you don't hate this type of content. We know that for a fact. Make sure that also you're following us on all the social channels, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at SEC Unfiltered. And to keep up with the number one content surrounding your favorite squad, make sure that you visit secunfiltered.com. This episode is brought to you by Roback. Use promo code SCCU for 20% off all joggers, polos, hoodie, shorts. Football season right around the corner. You want to look dressed to the nine on game day. Make sure that you go ahead and visit Roback.com. Promo code SCCU. So Graham Merch is mashed potatoes. I know it's going to take a little bit of time for you guys to process that, but I promise by the end of this video, you will be on my side and know what I'm talking about. Last season, Graham Mertz did not have a lot of expectations. You knew he was a quarterback that had a few starts under his belt during his time at Wisconsin. He wanted a fresh start. He comes on down to Florida. He ends up putting up decent numbers, a little less than 3,000 passing yards, 20 touchdowns, three interceptions. He was pretty decent on the ground as well. I think he had like four touchdowns, even though it was like negative 50 yards rushing. Regardless, the guy was sturdy. When you look back at Florida last season, the incompetence of what happened down the stretch when they were 5-2 and two to finish 5-7 and seven was not on number 15. It wasn't. It was on a lot of miscommunication when it came to the defense, which is why they got rid of their defensive coordinator. It's why they've completely revamped the entire style. It's why they went out and they added in new pieces. It was on the erratic play calling. It was on the lack of a number three wide receiver. All of those things have been addressed. And so now when you look at Florida, even though their record is basically made by college football Satan himself, in fact, I wouldn't even go that far. Someone is even more sadistic than him to come up with what Florida has to do this year. You realize that Graham Mertz is, at best, a solid quarterback. Nobody is ever going to complain that Graham Mertz is starting for you when you look at the other options available. Nobody also is going to say that you can't upgrade from Graham Mertz. So you're kind of caught in the middle. And mashed potatoes are a perfect middle ground side dish. Everyone seems to enjoy the starchiness, the foundation, the sturdiness, the stockiness, and also the fillingness of a potato. You got a lot of the buttery richness to it. Sometimes you throw a little bit of chives in there. You throw a little bit of garlic butter on top, and it's smooth, rich, creamy, and it goes down your gullet, and everyone seems to enjoy it. And then you throw on a little bit of gravy, like actual brown gravy, and it becomes a complimentary. Everyone seems to like it. Nobody really complains unless you're on a diet about mashed potatoes. You'll complain about Brussels sprouts. You'll complain about asparagus. You'll complain about cream spinach. You'll complain about candied yams. You'll complain about sweet potatoes. But mashed potatoes is a perfect middle ground. Nobody's going to complain. Nobody's going to say that it is the best side dish. Personally, I love a good mac and cheese. You get a bunch of different flavors mixed in. Got the Gouda. Get the Parmesan. Get the cheddar. I'm loving it. Call me McDonald's if you want to. But I won't complain for having a solid dish of mashed potatoes. That's Graham Mertz. Plain and simple. Nobody is going to complain if he throws for 3,000 yards, 25 touchdowns, 5 interceptions, completes 68% of his passes, has uh, has a passer rating above 175, and leads Florida to a 7-5 and finish this year. Nobody is going to complain about it. Nobody is also going to complain if Florida finishes 4-8 and eight and I said the exact same thing. Those are the numbers. Those are the quality of play. That's the sturdiness. That's the richness. That's the stockiness. That's the build of Graham Mertz. 
Nobody is going to have an issue if that is the stat line put up. Just like nobody is going to complain around the dinner table if you have mashed potatoes. People are going to be fine with it. Now, here's the best part. When you add in some other dishes and a main course with it, that is where the dish goes from good to great. That is where the meal goes from perfect to perfection. And that is what we're talking about with Florida. If you want to go ahead and add in a little bit of that spice, you want to go ahead and bring in that so, that, 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 that rich Cajun-style asparagus. Okay, that's Trey Wilson. You want to go ahead and bring in that cream spinach. Really complimentary to any piece. That's where you go ahead and say Shamir DK is coming on in. You want to add in some nice cornbread. You know what that is? That's a good base. You know what's a good base in your backfield? Montrell Johnson. And then you want to throw in potentially a little bit of that speed, which could be nice cold beer, could be potentially a nice glass of whiskey, whatever it is, or maybe you throw in that Cajun chicken. That's Elijah Badger. And then you add it all together, and it's a recipe that you can enjoy. Just because I called Graham Mertz mashed potatoes does not mean I think that he is a bad thing. I love mashed potatoes. You know what else I love? Graham Mertz. I think he's a solid quarterback. I think that honestly, because of he was on a roster last year that went five and seven, no fault of his own, people are going to give him a bad rep. Sometimes you have to separate the side dishes from the main course. You can have a very bad piece of spit salmon or a really runny piece that's dry chicken and enjoy the mashed potatoes. That's what I'm trying to say. Graham Mertz can be a complimentary piece to any offense, any main dish that is served up to be a recipe for success. But at the same time, he doesn't have to be the entire main focal point of your team. And that's what it is in Florida. The main focal point, or the turkey, or the chicken, or whatever else you're having for dinner tonight, that's Billy Napier. He's got to get his crap together. He's got to make sure that this roster is on point. They're keen. They're locked. They're loaded. They're ready to go. But the complimentary pieces around his offensive ideologies are going to be really poignant. Mashed potatoes. That's Graham Mertz. Cream spinach. Shamir DK. Spicy asparagus. That's Trey Wilson. Cornbread. That's Montreal Johnson. Then you throw in a nice cold beer. That's Elijah Badger. Boom, 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 boom. Everything works together. So at the end of the day, nobody is going to go home, have a bowl of mashed potatoes, and say, you know what? This just isn't it. Yeah, it's not going to be the only thing that you eat. It's not going to be the only thing that fills you up. But at the same time, you're going to have a bowl of potatoes, and you're going to say, you know what? That hit the spot. And if you had Graham Mertz at your starting quarterback at your respective university with the right pieces around him as a side dish to your offensive identity, I think you would be okay with it. So now we're all on the same page. Graham Mertz mashed potatoes is not an insult. In fact, in my opinion, it is actually the perfect compliment to a quarterback that severely is underappreciated at his school, among his fan base, and more importantly, in the grand scheme of college football. But let me know in the comments section down below. Do you want me to do like more side dishes about players in the SEC? Like who ranks where, who's cornbread, who's uh, asparagus, who's creamy spinach? Am I wrong on Graham Mertz being mashed potatoes? Also, go ahead and hit subscribe because we're talking college football. Probably a little bit of food takes at this point. It's, you know, right before SEC Media Days, we got to get content flowing out. Make sure that also you're following us on social media, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at SEC Unfiltered. If you want to hear more about my babbling food takes or anything else that I talk about, follow me on Twitter and my own YouTube channel at Mr. Cole Thompson, same name. Make sure that also that you are subscribe and you download the podcast version of the show, iTunes, Spotify, really wherever else you get your podcast listening systems. Leave a five-star review like you would at a restaurant that you enjoy. Uh, if you like this type of content, if you hate this type of content, and again, you're, we're, we're talking sports and food during the middle of June, like July. Yeah, you like this type of content. Leave a one-star review. And to keep up with the number one content surrounding your favorite team, make sure you visit secunfiltered.com. I'm Cole Thompson. I guess you can call me Chef Thompson. I don't know what, but later.